Copilot Actions are here. This new capability is now available in one of my Microsoft 365 tenant, so it's time to explore it. What you can do with that? So basically you can automate Copilot prompts in a nutshell. If you start working in the day and when you hand, you maybe use it to write the same prompt to Copilot. So you can automate this activity. So when you start your working date, you are going to display immediately Copilot answering you to the question, what are my today's meetings? What are my tasks for today? And the same thing when you wrap up the working day. So you can immediately get the response with a question, a typical question, what are my meetings for tomorrow? What are my action items for tomorrow? And that's it. All right, let's get started. Let's go. Here I am in the m 5 dashboard. I am on m 5cloudmicrosoft and on the left rail I have a new brand icon called Actions. And this is where I'm going to click on. This is the new page that highlights Actions. We have here the three main functions which are create, discover and manage. Down below I have the three main pillars of this page which are catch up, gather and prepare. This is what you can do so far with actions in Copilot. And down below there is an additional button to discover all templates. I will go in in a minute. So let's start from this one. From the first one, you can start with these three actions. Otherwise, if you want to explore more templates, you have to click on the button Discover or just down below in Discover Templates. This will drop you exactly on this second tab. And this is where you have the full overview about all existing actions that are available so far. Now, before to start uh, with the first one, let me show you immediately Manage. This is the list of all actions created. And if you followed my previous video about uh, scheduling prompt uh, for Copilot, these are the three that I created in my video. And this is exactly the same place where you can see all existing scheduled Copilot prompts. So just to give you a better understanding of that when you go on the copilot bits chart and when you click on the work tab you can see in the ellipsis button the new preview link scheduled prompts and this is the place where you can see the same actions currently available for you so now let's go back on actions and let's start to discover all possible actions that we have here in this page so let's start with the first one. In this first case, we are under the catch up area. And what we can do here are four actions. We have identify tasks, sort communications, meeting highlights and scan mentions. So let's start with this one. And when you click on it, you have a very nice overview where you can immediately understand that specific part of this sentence are customizable. In this case, summarize key takeaways and action items from email. I can target Teams messages. Let's target both. And then send by here. I can select the person that I want. I'm going to look for Adele events. In this case, in the last, uh, let's say, week, and notify me over email. So here I can take this as a one shot or I can target daily so i'm going to create a scheduled action that will run daily or weekly let's keep it as a one shot this is the preview we have the step here locate emails and teams messages sent by adele analyze and summarize and so on and then let's click on create once you create a new action this will be immediately dropped in the manage pivot or tab and this is now running already so is this copilot is going to create this action for the moment and then this will run and here you can see 
everything so let's go back on ketchup and here what i can do as a second action is recap communication related to a topic so let's say that i want to monitor something in meetings it makes perfectly sense related to employee benefits for example in the last but here you can replace this text if you want and mention the topic that you want to follow in the last week and notify me over email i'm going to keep this as well as a one shot and here again you have the preview you can review the cadence of this action again and then let's click on create this is already uh, run and completed in fact i already heard about the notification coming through my mailbox and now let's start the, with the creation of the third one which is meeting highlights so here summarize key takeaways this is absolutely important when you have meetings and especially if you record meetings this is a perfect action that will give you insights about uh, your meeting so here again you can target the cadence of this action here in the last two days let's say month and and then i will get an email about the insights of this one so the last one which is always under the ketchup umbrella is scan mentions here you can target the teams messages or emails as always where I have been mentioned in the last week and notify me over email. Let's click again on preview and then create. So it's time to explore now the second area, which is Gator. This is the area which has more actions for the moment, six actions. And here, what you can do is Gator monthly newsletter updates. Message here, you can follow um, you can message a specific person, let's say in this case Diego Siciliani, my colleague on Teams, requesting updates for the monthly newsletter. So here I can customize these updates for the, I can say, for example, marketing campaign by 2 p.m. on Monday, 70 April it's fine so this is the the draft message as you can see Giuliano is requesting updates for the marketing campaign so and this will be delivered directly to Diego Siciliani again as a second one we have compiled questions for team meetings so here I can target another colleague Sandra on teams requesting questions for the theme meeting and here I'm going to add project drone x by 9 a.m on friday april 4th okay preview this is the text that i can see in preview and then let's hit the button create let's move with the third one which is collect information by a deadline so here i can let me try if it works already with group it seems not not yet so i'm going to select now always my colleague adele on teams requesting information requesting info about new employee benefits the time let's target a comfortable time 11 a.m and let's start with on friday review again and this is every step that will be followed in this action let's hit the button create and now also this other thing is going to be created so it's time to jump on the fourth one and we have here get feedback request feedback on a document this is also really important so i'm going to ask to diego siciliani about feedback on and then here i can add a link to a document that i have let's keep it blank for this for this for the sake of this demo and then on the time is also fine but it seems that i need to add something all right i copied a link that target a loop page that i have i can 
click on preview and this is the preview of my message and again create so we are now approaching to the training reminder this is uh, particularly useful for training team encourage people to complete their required training this is also a nice functionality and here let's add someone all right here i already added a del events the time is there the link also and let's hit the button create and this also is running so what we can do now is going on the specific action that i just created and i can delete it or i can turn off then when this becomes inactive it it goes under inactive of course and here i can decide to rerun again or delete this so this all this that we created are one shot so it goes directly under the inactive section but let's move with the last one to cover in completely the gather area and we are here on send survey and here again i need to target someone let's go with diego respond to here i need to add a link again so let's make it just for the sake of this demo let's make this link a bit shorter and then the time preview again this is the preview of my message and here again you have also the ability to customize this text if it doesn't fit very well and then let's hit the button create now we covered also the gator area and let's jump on the last one which is prepare this is also extremely important because it helps you to deliver your uh, daily job and it, it can definitely speed up and boost your productivity so what we have here is help me prepare for my day so this is really crucial because when you start your working date you want to immediately start very well by targeting uh, the email the team's message and then you can repeat this daily and this is exactly what i'm going to do you can locate calendar emails and teams messages and everything that could be potentially um, targeted for you will be delivered to you so then we have the second one of the prepare section and this is the maximize time time help me wrap up my day and prepare for tomorrow this is also very important and here i can uh, target for example teams messages let's hit the button preview and then create so here for example it makes sense to create a second one in order to target email as well or a word document for example so this is just uh, keep in mind that this is just a preview of this functionality so i think that microsoft uh, will evolve this uh, section with more actions and probably there will be also the ability to customize a bit more actions here and the last one is help me prepare for my meetings tomorrow send me a summary in email text teams message or word document and let's hit the button again preview and then create so we have done and we covered all possible actions that you can run at this stage so by going over manage page you have the ability to have a very uh, have a very great look at glance all actions that you created it's time to see the result produced with those all these actions so what i received here are emails and we have in this specific case that help me wrap up my day and prepare for tomorrow and what i have here is a loop page let me open it here so for every mail that i got i received basically a loop component and so i can easily follow up using a microsoft loop and it's easy also to share with colleagues this is another one that i got it 
I have here uh, help me prepare for my day send it to me over email and it's again I have you have a total of two meetings scheduled for today here is your schedule and I have a couple of meetings here mentioned I have also the topics and emails that I, I receive it this is another action I have always the loop component and this is another summary about my emails and meeting related to employee benefits so pretty pretty cool this is what this is what is the result in Outlook let's jump now in Microsoft Teams but I think I didn't got anything so far from the actions probably I have something from Diego Siciliani here I am in a, in a LinkedIn now and what I have is a couple of chat that I are so here I am in Microsoft Teams and what I have are using the workflow app I targeted Adele events Giuliano is requesting info about new employee benefit so this is an adaptive card it it is absolutely easy for Adele events add the text here and then click on submit so the uh, sender will be notified in the in this case me because I created this action this other case uh, I have uh, an, uh, another adaptive card with the button Giuliano De Luca is requesting you complete this link and so Adele Vance can mark this as complete for Diego Siciliani we have more or less the same actions that we have seen for Adele Vance and then finally in workflow I can easily follow up on the actions that I have created before so this is where you can follow up with your uh, actions that are running in Microsoft Teams and Outlook all right, we have seen Copilot actions. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time.